Your Good Majesties, it's so lovely to see you. Thank you for Thank granting you. me an audience. <laughs> what, a, what a really interesting, good film. Two women, two strong women, you know, in the, carrying this film. That's what's so good about mm. it. Yeah, it's, it's quite an unusual thing to see two girls yeah. in a position of power um, and not totally hate each other as well mm. you know they, they spend most of the film really trying to reach out to one another mm. and work together and through no fault of their own they're they're kept apart so well they are very very strong characters and they should all you know it's a shame that because you really think they could have learned so much from one another and you know it, and all of that but the men are hideous <laughs> aren't they <laughs> there's some good ones except for oh, Joe. Joe, Joe I think Joe lovely. was like the only yeah. sound one to be okay. honest yeah. okay that's true but the rest of them the rest of them are the rest meddling and they're a yeah. mess yeah. horrible did you find when you because for a role like that obviously trying to get a handle on these women is really interesting because there's so much material but it kind of is down to something like when you get the outfit on, you know, when you mm. get that makeup, especially with Elizabeth, I think, mm. as well, you know, when, when after she was ill and she had to kind of almost became, I don't know, she almost became dehumanised mm -hmm. in a way, didn't she? When, the way that she was portrayed and the way that she had to be. Yeah, totally. No, it always helps. I mean, you can do all the prep work in advance and it, it, it is that thing that kind of tips you over the edge to finding the character I think when you finally because everything you wear kind of restricts you in a different way or or you know brings your brings your consciousness to like you know when I was playing Tonya I wanted her to look really heavy on her feet yeah. but really light on the ice and mm -hmm. wearing ice skates around I just like had weight on my feet all the time so it's mm -hmm. like wow yeah once I'm in costume that mm -hmm. thing I was trying to search for that feeling I was searching for kind of happens physically and helps you in that way so same with Elizabeth you know the feeling of feeling restrained and almost trapped by the facade yeah. that she creates herself was perfect it was you know the corsets and layer and layer mm -hmm. of the garments that were so beautiful and intricate and looked phenomenal and kept people a certain distance apart because they were so big um, really was doing all the work that I was trying to do and the, even wearing prosthetics just helped me I, I couldn't really animate with my face in the same way which mm. was great because she's feeling it all on the inside and keeping it quite stony on the outside so yeah I loved it it, it really helped you really look like her you know what we think of her you know the, <laughs> the portraits that we Lying. see <laughs> you know that, but you really it. did you sort of inhabited this Fogger really in essence yes <laughs> but this really this. interesting woman because you know they were at a time when women were not in positions of power at all mm. i mean it was very very unusual and to have both on the same island <laughs> was, yeah. was quite remarkable really yeah yeah no definitely and and, and even though they both had well you Mary particularly had a rightful claim to the throne. Elizabeth was already on the throne. It didn't make them safe or immune to mm, the, not at all. you know, the, the meddling of others, mm. especially because they were women and they really were kind of seen as, well, fine, since you were born into this position, you can be there until you produce an heir and yeah. then move over for the men. I mean, but just, just based on their mm. sex, they were, you know, kind of discriminated against even as sure. a royal. You understand why she never wanted to marry. Yeah, to, you know, why she kind of... And then poor Mary yeah. had this, you know, very, very bright, intelligent woman, but she's got you bad, bad taste in men. Terrible taste. <laughs> really? You're <laughs> like, oh, for goodness sake, not him. Don't go with him. I know. No, it didn't, it didn't go well on the, on the love front for Mary. But what I loved about her and what I loved about playing her is that she was actually a much better ruler than she's painted out yeah. to be in the history books, and you know that. And, mm -hmm. like... I'm, I know for so many people in Scotland, and even as I started to read more about her, I was just so outraged that she was painted out to be this thing that she wasn't. Yeah. Um, like She was politically astute, but she was also... She essentially expected exactly what a man would receive mm. as a ruler, which is lovers, fun, um, a child, an heir, while still being allowed to rule, um, ultimate power as any male um, monarch would have. Um, and that ended up being sort of part of her downfall. But she was somebody who loved life and she loved her friends and she loved her people and she was so beloved by by the Scots, you know. Um, so it was wonderful getting to play someone who is a figurehead but who also is is so full of life too. Yeah, and it's a person. That was the thing about She's this. a person, exactly, you know, we, we yeah. read the history books and all that and there has been movies made before, of course there has. But I think you two got the closest to the women Mm. that they were rather than the rulers as oh, well as good. doing that which was which was really good which we haven't really seen before I don't think no and I it was brilliant having Bo come in Bo Willeman who had written House of Cards and yeah. he just I think it was great to have someone who wasn't from the UK do it with a sort of out, 
outside perspective, but also someone who is very, very good at like writing thrillers mm. and he's very good at sort of fleshing out characters because obviously you have to do that with TV. So they beca it became this very rich story that we were yeah. a part of, you know. And I know that they, they one, of the, well, one of the most striking scenes in the film is when they meet and we don't think that they met in real true life, but you can understand why they did that for the movie. It makes perfect sense. Mm. And the way that they're kind of trying to find each other was mm. really well done. And did they keep you two apart until that actual scene? So you, you mm -hmm. wouldn't have seen each other? Yeah, no, ah, we never saw each other okay, in character really until that moment. Right. Which was great. It was really helpful. It, it was quite a build up, even more so. Mm. You kind of recognise the scenes in a script where you're like, that's the big moment in the movie. And there is a, you know, a certain amount of build up before sure. you do that scene. But to have the added fact that we'd never seen each other in character um, was more powerful than I had anticipated. Mm. Uh -huh. We just held on to each other after. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so much. They're like, you really need to do this. You're Take so a couple good. more times. <laughs> Don't let go. You obviously do get on really well and you would have seen each other a lot during yeah. the whole sort of... <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> but you'd have seen each other a lot during the whole kind of awards thing. Obviously, you were talking about Itonia, which is great, and Lady Bird, of course. So you probably met up then, I guess? You more, got to we saw more each time other, together then. Yeah, yeah, more, yeah, more than doing the film, Yeah, ironically. So that's why it's so nice to impress together this time, because we've essentially done it together I already. I know. Yeah, so, exactly. But yeah. we're talking about the same film. I know. But we're still talking about the same film. Scotland looks beautiful. Yeah. Doesn't it look gorgeous? It does. It just, gorgeous. I was so angry I didn't get to go. Everyone else did the company movie, went to Scotland, and I didn't oh, get to you go. You have to go back. Lizzie stays in England, you know. So That's very true. That's very true. I want to go. Almost. It's almost. So nearly, exciting. nearly, nearly. So almost. close. But it does look absolutely stunning. It looks so beautiful. 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 And you know, the crown was shooting in some of the same locations as well. So I was like, is Claire Foy here? Is the other queen here? <laughs> <laughs> really the other really Lizzie. Yeah, that's exactly. That's really weird, actually. Yeah. When you think about it, because that's our great, 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 great. Totally. But whenever. You know how yeah. many it is, you, you well, there's think. so many remnants of like the royals there yeah. still. I mean, mm. it's the amount of. I mean, you know this about the ravers that were like made lords yes. afterwards and <laughs> stuff. So there's this weird crossover of like, you know, two different sides. You know, yeah. um, but. I just, I love it up there so much. Well, it's like home, you have cousins, it's like home to you it way, is. isn't it? It really is, yeah. It's like, it's that perfect combination of it being really familiar to me, but also it's it's this new wonderful mm. place. So. No, that makes perfect I sense. It. Makes yeah. perfect sense. As always, with kind of jobs that you do, you've, you've done this one, you're always looking ahead to the next one, and you're doing Little Women. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. And that, my favourite, favourite book. Yeah, it's um, it's great. We're almost, um, well, we're done now. Um, and, yeah, and we've just had, like, the best cast come together for it, like Laura Darn and... Meryl Streep and oh well, that's you know, just, just, just a few, just, just a few, <laughs> no, the biggie. And is it quite a new take on it in these in these new climate that we, you know, this new climate that we live in when things are I think a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not allowed to say loads mm -hmm. about it because we have to like protect it or whatever. Sure. But um, but I think it's fine to say that like it's in a way it's closer to the books probably right. than it's ever been oh, before. Good. Um, because you know Joe. March is essentially Louisa May Alcott. Yeah. So, um, so her life and her story is such a huge part of those books. Mm. And Little Women is sort of a romanticised version of the March family or the the Alcott family. Yeah. Um, so it's been nice to sort of know more about her life and incorporate that into oh, that the story great. a bit more. Yeah. And of course, you get your own production company, which is mm -hmm. brilliant. That's the way ahead, isn't it? That's <laughs> yeah. the way, it really is, because that's the way things will change. Yeah. That's because I don't think things will ever go back no, to the way they were. Yeah, and you need to be, good. it's good to have the conversation continue and be loud and proud about it, but yeah. it's also good to be actually one of the voices that gets to make the decisions that Too right. changes these statistics. Exactly, because so. more women in your position, more women who are directing, writing, mm -hmm. all of that, it's just going to make things better, mm -hmm. you know, not just for, for you, but for if you have daughters or if, mm -hmm. if you know, young women that are coming mm -hmm. into the industry, it's, it's great, mm -hmm. it's really good. Yeah. Well, look, thank you for talking to you. You can get back home now, because I know you've both got little dogs, haven't you? That you yeah. must miss so much when you're working. two puppies. Two yes, puppies. Well, how can you be away from them? I know, it kills me. So it kills me. Do you get regular reports, photos and all I do. That? No, Good. I do. Yeah, my yeah, my, my camera important. roll is, like, so lame. Mm -hmm. It's just the dogs. Do you have a folder just for your dogs? Because I do. A folder, oh, obviously. No, it's my Trans whole camera roll. Oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs>